my dad's best friend might have done the unimaginable to me. Dad's best friend is named Dennis. They were in a band together and the guy's actually pretty famous. He is considered a pedo by his close friends and ex-wives. He was always very touchy-feely with me as a kid and kept asking to babysit me and making inappropriate comments about my appearance. Luckily my mom wouldn't let him be alone with me and it caused arguments between her and my dad. Who wouldn't believe anything negative of his best friend. After my parents got divorced I lived with my mom in another town. Dennis moved to that town and my dad kept trying to get me to hang out with Dennis and gave him my email address. Dennis kept sending me creepy emails asking to meet and I eventually gave in and said I was meeting some friends for coffee downtown and he could join us. He never showed, but when I got home, I received an email from his account from his wife. She was very angry. She said she knew about our affair and my dad would be ashamed, and how dare I break up their marriage when she had two little kids, and I was going to ruin their lives and I must never contact them again or she would tell my dad everything. She also said that she knows her husband has a problem with young women and he's trying to get help, but I'm making it worse and he's addicted and can't help himself. I replied that I was not at all interested in her husband and I have a boyfriend who is my own age, 15. I didn't hear anything else from him for a while until I had my first gallery opening, I do biological illustrations and my work was in the local natural history museum. I was 18-19 at the time. Because parking was limited, I left my car at my mom's house and carpooled with her. My dad and stepmom met us at the gallery, but mom and stepmom do not get along and they got into a fistfight in the parking lot and mom left in a huff. Dad offered to give me a ride home, but they were stopping to have dinner at Dennis' house after the gallery. When we get there, Dennis is very excited and hugs me for a little too long. His wife is visibly uncomfortable and very rude to me throughout dinner. Dennis offers me some wine, drinking age is 21, and I say, no thanks. I don't drink. He insists and keeps on insisting. Everyone comments on how persistent he is being. Eventually I cave just to be polite. He takes my glass into the kitchen, even though the wine is at the table, and stays in there for a long time. Wife goes in there and starts yelling at him then storms out and leaves the house, slamming the front door. He comes out shortly after with a half-full small glass of wine and is acting really nervous and comments about his wife being crazy. I say thank you and don't drink any. He keeps aggressively insisting that I try the wine and we're all uncomfortable with it. I eventually try a small sip and say it's good but I don't really drink. He keeps insisting that I finish my wine and asks if I'm tired and says I can totally stay the night. I am not at all tired and say it would be silly to stay the night because I leave close by and have to work the next day. He keeps saying how I can come by any time I want and spend the night or become alive and nanny for his kids. I politely refuse. Meanwhile he's just getting more and more insistent that I finish the wine and stay the night. We are all getting uncomfortable and I say I should be getting home. He absolutely insists that I finish my wine first so I swallow it in one gulp. Then his eyes get really big and he says perhaps we should stay for a little while. Tries to block us from leaving and keeps asking if I feel sleepy and if I should stay the night there. I insist on leaving. He insists that I look sleepy and my dad should drive me all the way home. Dad looks at me and says I don't look sleepy. I also don't feel sleepy at all. At this point Dennis is in a panic and tries to physically stop us from leaving. We leave anyways. Dad drives me to my car and makes sure I'm not sleepy. I don't feel sleepy at all. I get in my car and after about a minute of driving, 20 minutes since I drank the wine, start to feel really weird. Disconnected from my body, sleepy, confused, and hard to move my limbs. I don't remember falling asleep but I get into a really bad car crash. My car flips a couple of times, spins, and lands on the driver's side door. There is glass everywhere and my car is completely totaled. I'm completely fine, seat belts, yay, and when I get a ride home I fall asleep immediately and sleep for a long time. When I wake up I feel really ill and hungover. Later on, dad tells me that Dennis took my car accident strangely hard and personally and blames himself. Dad says Dennis started crying on the phone when dad told him about my accident, and kept saying that it would have all been okay if I had just stayed the night. This incident made me afraid of driving for a long time after and I blamed myself for falling asleep while driving. 
only recently did I read a story from someone who had been roofied and the symptoms she described were exactly how I felt. I'm still not sure that's what happened, but it is a little creepy. Edit. Sorry about the time confusion. It was a really emotional post for me and I messed up with counting. Also, I'm totally fine if you don't believe anything I wrote. I did it because it made me feel better to write it down. Dad's Creepy Friend so this isn't as creepy as some stories I've read on here, but this feels needed. So there's some backstory needed here to understand everything. This guy, who we'll call Sam, was a friend of my dad's for years. I say it like that because I'm talking 25 to 30 years. Not 3 or 4. He had lived with us various times throughout the first 15 years of my life. Also, my mom's side of the family throws a Christmas party every year on Christmas Eve. It's nothing big just dinner, adults chatting, and sometimes a few presents for the younger kids. Now for the rest of the story. I'm around 9 when this part of the story takes place. We decided to go to the party, we lived easily 2 hours away so we didn't go every year. This year was one of the many that Sam had lived with us, so he came. Everything was fine and normal. Sam had a girlfriend we had met and said that he invited her over and she was on her way but he was gonna wait outside to make sure she found the right house and asked if I would wait with him. Thank God my mom overheard and said it was too cold for me to go wait outside with him especially due to the fact I was wearing a dress. He went outside by himself. She never came. During all this one of my aunts has this pair of boots she no longer wore and gave them to me. Now, these weren't like stripper boots, they were brown with large clunky heels and only went about 2 inches above my ankle. My dad is very overbearing and overprotective and, well, the list goes on. He didn't like these boots and thought I was too young for them. We're getting ready to leave and I'm climbing into the very back of the car while Sam holds the seat down. After I sit down he looks straight at me and says, like a freaking deranged child. I like your boobies, and makes a squishy motion with his hands just a few feet away from me. I cried the whole way home. That night after we got home and settled and my younger siblings went to bed. My mom had me come out and help her finish getting ready for the next day. She had me eat the cookies and drink the milk. While I was doing this I loose my cool and start bawling my eyes out. My mom obviously notices and asks me what's up. I told her all about Sam and what he said. She asks me if he could have meant boots and I explained with the hand motions he made, no. She flips and tells my dad, and I retell the story. A few days later Sam moved back in with his mom. Fast forward a few years I was 14 to 15 years old. He was in a lot of trouble and asked dad if he could move in with us. Telling my dad that he was drunk that night and didn't mean what he said and, let it be in the past. My dad let him. Now he lived with us for a very short period of time. I'm talking maybe a year. During this time, I was very close to this dog we owned. His name was Scooby, this is relevant. This was my baby, he followed me, slept with me every night, and if I went to a friend's house overnight he was lost. He also never let anyone in my room. He would growl if anyone got near my bedroom door that he wasn't okay with. Scooby did not like Sam by any means. For example. One day I was hanging clothes and Scooby of course was laying by my ankles. He noticed Sam by the door and ran over jumping on the door barking, snarling, growling, and lunging at the door. My mom thought Scooby was gonna break through the glass to attack this man. Sam would also try to make conversation with me and depending on the day would depend on how friendly I was, moody teen. If I was the slightest bit sassy and my parents weren't around, he'd get angry and yell at me. He one time threw a golf pencil at me and told me to watch how I talked to him. One night a friend of mine was staying over. She was allergic to cats so I had to make sure I vacuumed my room, wiped everything off, and wash all my bedding. We ended up going to sleep and woke up the next morning. I woke up before her and reached behind my knees to pet Scooby but he wasn't laying there. I look over and he curled up in the corner scared. I call him over and cuddle him for a little while because he's obviously freaked. I look around trying to figure out what happened. Soon enough I notice clothespins on my desk. I know damn good and well they were not there the night before. I specifically remember because I had to clean my room so thoroughly. I went to go ask my mom and notice his clothes are hanging outside. I told my mom, dad, and grandma. 
the only one who believed me was my mom. A few months later, he stole my 12-year-old brother's wallet, and over a hundred dollars my brother had just gotten for his birthday, and took off with it. So to Sam, the pervert and piece of crap who lived with us, let's never meet again. My dad's friend, who I really used to be scared of. I recently noticed something about myself. I now find myself highly attracted to people I was afraid of when I was a kid. For example, I wouldn't talk to men with long hair or accents when I was a kid and I thought I hated beards, but now those things get me really wet. I guess this is where my dad's friend comes in. My dad went to high school with him so he's known him a long time and he was around from time to time when I was pretty young. He would always try to say hello to me or give me a hug, and I would always hide behind something when I saw him coming. For no reason other than he was a big dude and I thought I felt afraid of him. I'm in my 20s now and the other day this friend of my dad's, almost 40 years older than me, had to give me a ride home. Of course I'm long over my irrational fear by now and I've seen him once in a while over the years, but just briefly here and there and usually while I was looking frumpy. Well, this time I had been out earlier in the day so I was all done up with hot makeup, including red lips, and a sexy little summer outfit on. A tea bodysuit with super tight, super short shorts, and some keds. When he got to where I was to pick me up, I walked over and said hi, and as he was getting out of his car he saw me and actually stopped in his tracks and just said. Wow, you're pretty. As we were on the drive back to my place, we had a nice conversation about various innocent things and related to each other on a few things. Although I wonder if I detected some mild nervousness from him. Hard to tell since this is the only time I've ever been alone with him or had that we've had this long of a conversation. As we pulled up to my house I ended the ride by making him laugh. I so wanted to turn around and see if he was checking me out as I walked up my steps but I didn't have the guts to. I've been daydreaming about him whenever I have a spare moment and when I'm falling asleep. I have thought about him sexually in the past, but always just briefly and never this seriously. I told my dad I wanted to text him to say thanks. My dad said he doesn't text but I could leave him a message on his home phone. He gave me the ride almost 5 days ago now so I'm afraid I kind of missed my window for that, but I desperately want to seduce him. He's going through a divorce, I already knew that and he mentioned it in the car, no kids, semi-retired. So I feel like there's a good chance I could do it. But there's also a chance he could pull some sort of bro code maneuver and not want to do anything because of my dad. Which would be unfortunate but I'd still want to at least tease him up. What should I do to lure him into my web? He and my dad were supposed to get together tonight but had to reschedule. I don't know when yet, but I'm hoping to find out surreptitiously somehow so I can stop by my parents' house while he's there. I just want to give him the best time of his life. Is that too much to ask? My sincere apologies for the long post. I've just been so hot and bothered over this the past few days I have a lot to say about it. My father's best friend my family is so messed up. My mentally unstable mother left me years ago with my grandmother, and my father is a freaking pedophile, who has dated my female schoolmates ever since I was 14 and who is emotionally abusive to me. Surprisingly, I turned out to be pretty sane. Although I'm having issues relating to other people and I am still struggling with depression. Lately, I've been hanging out with my father's best friend, who is 32 years older than me, I'm 17. Our love for mountaineering is what we have in common. I have so much to learn from him. He is the typical outdoors man. He knows all these great places and he's an experienced climber. I'm absolutely fascinated by his skills. But I think I am falling for him and he shares my feelings. He is aware of my terrible relationship with my father and it feels like he is the only person in my life that actually gives a damn about me. Every time we go to the mountains and he sees how happy I am, he keeps saying how glad he is that I'm having a great time. He keeps hugging me and holding hands. He kisses me on the cheek. He sometimes makes stupid sexual jokes. I believe falling in love with older men is a consequence of my awful relationship with my father. My interest in his best friend is both romantic and fatherly. It feels like he can provide me the warmth, the male presence my father never did. I'm a virgin and all I can think of is hooking up with my father's best friend. I associate sex with strong emotional bonds. I mean, I see sex as a result of love, 
because that's what I'm actually hoping to find, a way to feel loved. However, I keep telling myself that it's not a good idea to sleep with him and that I shouldn't let things get that far. I've seen the way he mistreated his former girlfriends. He is hot-tempered and quite possessive. I fear that if I got into a relationship with him, he wouldn't let go of me too easily and he would see me as something he owns. Anyway, I just wanted to get this off my chest. My husband, 44 male, slept with my friend's daughter, 16 female. I, 38 female, am not coping well. Need advice. Before anyone asks, the age of consent is 16, here in the UK. I'm a mum of two, with a 14-year-old daughter, 12-year-old son. Despite having kids, me and my husband normally find time for sex. Get the kids to stay at grandma's etc. Anyway, me and my husband have generally had a happy marriage, but his confession last night threw that out the window. He confessed he'd got my new friend Tina's daughter, Chloe, who's 16, pregnant. He'd slept with her since November last year, Chloe turned 17 in August. Tina is someone I've known since she moved into the neighborhood last year, Tina moved in last September. I was furious with him, then he said that Chloe wants to keep the baby, and that he's going to move in with her. I feel angry, upset, like my marriage was a scam, is my husband a creep or pedophile? This girl is only two years older than my daughter. What the hell? Why would a 16-year-old want a married man of 44? She's 16, so she probably won't see what the reality of dating my husband would be like. Anyone able to give her a reality check? My husband said he'd be a weekend dad and be living with Chloe and the baby. My husband's a good dad so why would he do this? Do you think Chloe will regret it big time? I've seen the text between my husband and her. There was even a text with Chloe in a bikini reading. Hey you sexy. Wanna come over to mine later? I'm going to have to divorce him but it'll be painful. Feels like hell and I worry about what it'll mean for me and my kids. My husband's also started using odd nicknames for me. He's called me a willow mum, what the hell? Uber gal, and, hipster babe. And also started wearing my pink soda sport crop top around the house too. He thought it would be funny. I told him I was annoyed but he would not listen. Insisted he looked good in the top. He's also spent about £3,500 on Adidas goods using family finances too. Need help. Not coping well at all. Yes, this sounds like our slash relationships, but it is an advice request.